Hi everyone, welcome to the Coloring Oasis. This is Emily. Today I'm going to introduce my video series on my entire adult Christmas coloring book collection. I have an entire shelf of them. It is embarrassing. There are so many and every year I get sad because I can't do nearly enough pictures in, in the books I want, but then I still buy more books that come out that year. So it's like it's a losing battle. Uh, I do tend to color Christmas all the way through January, so I have two full months to do my Christmas pictures. So I'm going to show you the first batch. This is part one of I don't know how many it'll take, but we shall see. Some of these are brand new, some of them are not, some of them are colored in, some of them are not. These two are new, so I wanted to start with these. You've probably seen um, RJ Hampson's Christmas Tiny Homes. Um, with the 3D bonus v village cutouts and the Creative Haven Christmas Trees book. Um, not as big a fan of this one. I just got it. I, I, of course, I love Christmas trees, but really Christmas trees are hard to get the, the you know, the greens, the evergreen to look realistic. This would be fun if you want to do like a blue tree, a pink tree, a silver tree, a purple tree, and a gold tree, and a poinsettia tree. So I'm not sure I'm going to tackle this one yet this year. But very simple. If you love Christmas trees, you can't go wrong. They definitely do a beautiful job here. Um, in love with this new R.J. Hampson Tiny Homes book. In the back, I always go back to the front. You do have these parts where you can cut out your own tiny home, which I don't really like or think I would do. But I do love the coloring pages like this toy shop, for example. Like kind of that Bethlehem picture, the desert. Love his work. His work? Her work? RJ is a man, right? I don't know. I don't know. Shame on me. I should know that. Maybe somebody here knows. I should look it up, I guess. <laughs> oh, love that one. Love. Love, love, love this book so much. I'm definitely going to be doing this one this month. So you'll see that in what I colored in December. You'll see something from this book. Next, I have, you've probably seen this before. Um, I have Christmas Country Town by Coloring Book Cafe. This is a newer one that I just picked up. So I'm loving the pictures in it. Reminds me very much of like a Vermont countryside, New England kind of a town. Very charming storefronts, cozy winter. I'm sure you'll see something you like in here. So I'm going to link each book below in order of how I show them to you. So as you're watching, jot down the names of the ones you're interested in or click below and open it in your Amazon and then continue watching. I never understood why they do these minis, but I guess you can test your colors. But this is the Color Book Cafe's Christmas Country Town. Love, 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 love. Next I have From Halloween to Christmas, Daria Kerkersoy. I have shown this one in my, um, at least part of it I showed it in my Halloween collection, you might have seen, but we can go back to just the Christmas ones, there's even Valentine's Day in here. Love her work. I always just assume most coloring book artists are women, but they're probably not, and I'm probably wrong. But I have to imagine Daria is. Love. Love all of these pages. Love. That's when we get into Halloween. Oh, there's one I did for Halloween. You can see what I colored in October video. That's from Halloween to Christmas Grayscale by Derek Kerkersoy. Kerkersoy. Of course, Joshua Dunbar. The adorable Christmas cuties. I've already shown this in a haul video, but it's cute as a bug's ear. I think I might test some pencils and do a uh, product demo tutorial, coloring tutorial in this little book. Maybe in this next week open up one of my new pencils I haven't tried before. Can't go wrong with that for a stocking stuffer. This one is so-so. I didn't love it. It's a smaller square book. It's by Demi de Victoria's Counting to Christmas Advent. 
Um, I did color a couple in here already. Not loving it. It's very, you know, bendy. Cheap, cheap paper. I did this one. Just some markers. Picture, I mean, they're cute pictures. Some of them are cute. I just don't love the paper. Or the size. The way the paper's cut into the size. I did start this one. haven't finished. It's really an advent. I don't like advent coloring books because I want to color what I want when I want. I don't want to feel like I have to color a specific picture each day because I won't stick with it. I'll change my mind anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> this is Lovely Christmas by Ty Sun. Love Ty Sun's work. I have shown um, quite a few completed pages in some of my summer videos, I think, and some uh, a different book, but it's very nostalgia feeling. A light gray scale. These books take pencil. These books take my 500 Brute Furner set really well. I did a whole video on that, I think. Um, any pencils will work good in here. Your markers work great in here. I just have to go quick, you guys, because I have so many books, it's not even funny. I just love this vintage style. I just love it. Love it. Love it. This is so cute. If your mom or grandma or anyone likes to, to color, I think she may love this book because of the vintage style. Might make them for a sort of nostalgic for their childhood. So, absolutely love it. Um, this is Deborah Muller's uh, Very Merry Christmas coloring book, her first one. I've actually had this for a year. I've never colored in it. And I now have her brand new one, and I love the pictures in both so much. They're almost so nice that I'm afraid to color in them. I love the book so much I'm afraid to color in them. Very heavy quality, sort of cardstockish paper. Um, I don't mind using my markers and whatnot because, yes, there's excerpts from her books on the other side. But if I want that, I'll just buy the book. I'm not worried about that. But if you want it to look more like a collectible, you, you can use pencils or um, felt pens or gel pens, something that won't bleed through. I like her new one a little better, the Holly Jolly Christmas. Is that what it's called? I think Holly Jolly. Just the pictures are a little more Hallmark movie, I think. Or just, this is the old one, right? Yeah, I think. Do I have them mixed up? Pretty sure this is the older one. Oh, I have so many books. It's amazing I can keep track. Oh, love this. Love this novel, by the way. I actually have it right here. I was coincidentally just reading it and nope. Don't have it. Forgot it's in my car because I took it to my son's house. Anyway, the little Christmas novel, Merry and Bright. Love it. Very happy. They, I think they made it into a Hallmark movie called Merry and Bright, but the story was a little different, quite a bit. But and this is the older one, right? I'm just not losing my nuts. Yeah, 2021. <laughs> not losing my nuts. Am I going nuts? I think I am. Here's a Deborah Muller, Peppermint Kisses, Gingerbread Wishes. Loved this one. This came out last year. This year she did a Seasons coloring book and an Enchanted Winter coloring book. Did that one last year. Love this, love this. I love this book so much. Love them. I love them all. There's so many pictures I just, so it's sad I don't have time to do as many as I want. Did I only color one last year? That's about what I do. I try to get one page done in each book. And then the next year I do one more page in each book. So after 10 years, maybe I'll have 10 pages done in a book. Love that book. This is Coco Wild's Winter Easy Colors. Great for beginners, great for testing your mediums. Um, if you have poor eyesight and like zoomed in bigger pictures, this is great. Simple, not a ton of detail, but enough where it feels like you can really, you know, doctor it up. You can practice your pastels in the background where there's a lot of white space. You can give this book to younger kids, but I think it's not as simple as a kid's coloring book still. It's definitely still for adults. So that's Coco Wyo's Winter um, 
easy colors. I have one in here that is not a Christmas book. I have no idea why this is in the middle of my Christmas pile, but it's brand new. I guess I, I meant to show this in my haul video I just did before this. <laughs> this is the Dark King and Queen Horror Book by Cook Crook. Crook Crook, it was in the wrong pile. <laughs> so brand new book, but <clears throat> absolutely amazing. Incredible book. I love Crook Crook. There's a dark fairy tale one that's coming out that I, or that is out that I've ordered. I have not received it yet. Love these figures. Very historical. Not quite as gory as the, is it the, um, is it the dark beauty, the freak of Halloween. Some other ones, but I, I love them all. I'm not even a big horror fan and I love Crook Crook's work. So, not Christmassy, so a little detour. This is an all year round or, or even Halloween month, but brand new book, by the way. Oh. So, Dark King and Queen, <laughs> not intended for Christmas. This is Cute Christmas by Coloring Book Cafe. Another one I really love that has that kind of Coco Wild or Joshua Dunbar cute style with the very faint gray shades to it. I like this more than the Kukawaiyo Easy Winter. It's a little more detailed than the Easy Ones. And it definitely is cute. It's just screaming markers, markers, markers to me. Haven't decided which one I'm gonna do yet for this year. But Cute Christmas by Coloring Book Cafe. And this is very new. This is Christmas in July by Ava Brown. So, fun. I'm not a huge Christmas in July fan. I, I like traditional. Christmas is Christmas. July is Hawaii. That's the end of it. But, um, summer. But, going from back to front, there are some fun ones in here. You can color these in July, or you can color them for Christmas, because they do celebrate Christmas in Hawaii. Or in Florida. Or in other Christian tropical areas, maybe. Bahamas? I'm not sure. Love that one. I do think there's too many. There's a ton, um, which are duplicates. But even then, it's a huge fat pile. So like the book is really bigger than it needs to be and they don't really need to provide duplicates. So big fat, I love that one. Big fat book. Christmas in July by Ava Brown. I have a couple more for this first video. I have some incredible, gorgeous books. I have Chibi Christmas, which is fun. And this is by somebody it doesn't say, so I'll just link it below if it's still available for Chibi Christmas. There have been books where I'm when by the time I've reviewed them or include them in a video, they are no longer available on Amazon, even if it's like a month later. I don't know why. Maybe there was something wrong. Amazon flagged them. So that has happened a few times. I love that one. Love that one. Love that one. <laughs> love that one. Very cute. Um, that was, again, the second copy. So there are two copies. I don't know why. I would rather artists just fill the whole book with original pictures instead of doing two copies. I always feel like that's a waste. Um, they try to make it seem bigger than it is. Of course, there's Nice Little Town Christmas Tree by Tatiana uh, Bogdana Maslova. Maybe you've seen this. This is the only Nice Little Town Christmas one I own. I did purchase the first one and I returned it. I didn't like it. I don't know why, but I really think these books have improved. The style, the uniqueness, the details, um, they're all different. They're not just all houses all the same. So cute. We're definitely going to do a picture in this book. That's Nice Little Town Christmas 3. Very inexpensive. Here's a nice big chunky book, won't even fit in my camera. Very gorgeous. Expensive, more expensive. This is the Nutcracker coloring book based on the original story by E.T.A. Hoffman. It's a very thick book with cover and inside color poster. 
Um, if these are still available, I will link them. They were on um, some discount um, sites. I got mine on Etsy. They were on some discount book um, book sites, kidsbooks.com and another one. But then I actually got a copy on Amazon. I think I saw that they eventually got some. But these are not double-sided, single-sided. So you, you know, have to consider if you use your markers what will happen like okay these tools are a little clock parts fine i don't care if it goes through so i found a few i really like and i want to use markers on so i looked on the other side and um find that it would be fine this one for example oh i do like that so this side i might do not non-believable markers um this is a really gorgeous book. It's, all, it's cutting off on the top and bottom, you guys, because it's too big for my camera. It's a bigger book, but I really like this. High quality. Kind of has like that paper consistency. I love this one. So this is the one I want to do markers. And if you, you see on each side, there's nothing to really much lose. So I'm definitely gonna do markers. This is the one I'm gonna do this month. Um, yeah, this has the same paper consistency of like the, the Disney. Oh, the Hatchet Heroes Disney ones. Is that what I'm thinking of? Going backward here. A lot of unique pages, no duplicates. Amazing details. Incredible book. I will, if it's not on Amazon, um, it'll be, I'll link wherever I do find it. You can try to pick one up while you can't. Sweets Village. I want to do that one. I want to go to the Sweets Village and live there. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Love this book. Very heavy, pretty book. Um, I do have, how many minutes am I at? Oh, I have time for a couple more in this video. Oh, I'm so silly. Here's Debbie, M Debbie McElmore's other one. This is the new one I was talking about. The Holly Jolly Christmas one. Yeah, I wasn't losing my mind after all. This one I liked a little bit better. Don't know why. Reminds me of a Hallmark Christmas movie since I've been watching all the new Hallmark Christmas movies. The Great American Family is a new channel. I don't know if they're a spinoff of Hallmark, but they have all new movies that are like the old, earlier on Hallmark movies without, that are more of a like clean and wholesome, I guess. Oh, this is the one I'm going to do. Look at all the details on that apron. Have you guys seen the Lifetime original movie? It's called Snow Globe. It's at least five years old or more. There's a lady in the kitchen who's baking and she's opening the oven. Every time she opens it, a turkey pops up. A turkey pops up or yams pop up over and over and over. It's like magic. She's wearing an apron with the ruffles that look just like that. And it was gold and had all these little Christmas things all over it. Looks just like that. One of my favorite Christmas movies, which is funny because it's kind of cheesy. Um, this one was from Etsy. It's Maz Jaws Christmas. This was an international overseas book with a bonus bonus page. These are mostly a sort of like mandala style. Nice thick paper. They're all kind of like in a, a frame. I wish um, she would sell these on Amazon. But yeah, I can link the Etsy store below. Um, there are quite a few others as well she has, and they're all these gorgeous mandalas. So you can check out her Facebook page and her Instagram as well. Um, I have three left in my pile. Four left. All right. And this is not all my Christmas books. This is like the first of three videos. I have The Cute Christmas by Jade Summer. This is on par with what I was showing you before. The Easy Christmas and the um, the one by um, Joshua Dunbar. But this one's really cute. There's some landscape ones. Alexa, cancel. And there's... I'm not going to turn it, but you have vertical and horizontal pictures portrait and landscape style. Cute! This might be my favorite of all the easy ones I've seen so far in this video. 
mode. Move. Move. So cute. This is Jade Summer's Cute Christmas. Um, I think this one was new from this year as well. I think I, I saw it. I grabbed it when I saw it, so I'm not really sure. This one came out this year. It came out in October. It's The Mice Before Christmas. The, the Grayscale coloring book that's um, with the story in it. It's like a storybook coloring book. Kind of like that Baker's Dozen one. So you definitely want to use pencils. Maybe waxier ones because it's kind of a shinier paper. How in the heck you're going to use pencils on this? I have no idea because it's so small, but you can use the Faber-Castell pencils, a felt pencil, I'm um, sorry, pe uh, pe marker, um, because they don't bleed. And there are some fine point fine liners that don't bleed also. Gel pens also would work. I think there's so much detail in this book, you can really only do like, either work on this the whole season or do one page per year. and because you want to do a very slow, careful job and then keep this book once it's all the way completed, like to be an heirloom to give to your kids or grandkids. Yep, there's the Baker's Dozen and the duckling one I was thinking of, right? Yeah, oh, the quackling. Close enough. <laughs> Chibi Christmas, Jade Summer, another one I absolutely love. Just like I love the Chibi Horror. This one has two sets, but I will, there's the Chibi Horror. Freebies in the back. Love, love, love them all. Love, love, love this book. So for anyone who's watching, I might not get all these videos released on the same day. I might do one. That was the second copy. I might do one each day. I'm not sure. Depends how long it takes me to record the videos. So if you don't see all the other videos after you see this, which I will eventually link below, if they're not all linked, they haven't all been released yet, but they might be. So check below. Love that one. Very cute. Jade Summers, Chibi Christmas. And the last one is the brand new one by Teresa Goodridge, The Home for the Holidays by Creative Haven. This has the most Hallmark Christmas movie feel, I think, of all the, the books. I mean, some of the scenes are in the style, obviously, is a lot like It's a Cat's World, which I showed in a new haul video I just did. Very just traditional, sort of makes you nostalgic for a Vermont country Christmas. It's like you want, this book makes me just want to go live inside the book and have it all come to life in color and live my Christmas in this little place, <laughs> wherever this village is. That'll be the first one I do. Absolutely amazing by Teresa Goodridge. Okay, that is my part one video of all of my adult Christmas coloring book collection. Keep an eye out for part two and probably part three. Thank you.